there is a schedule for pre-season and in-season. Take a pause here to have a look at the different variations between the two. Every session should start with a thorough, dynamic warm-up. We're going to be looking at strength, power and posture exercises. Strength is the ability to overcome resistance, whereas power is the ability to overcome resistance at a high velocity. So it's important to remember that you have to have a good strength base first before you start to gain explosive power. The thing that we commonly overlook though is posture exercises, because this is going to reduce the chances of injuries occurring, but it's also going to help improve your performance. Because if you're in alignment, you're more likely to move more efficiently. And if you're moving more efficiently, you're going to be more economical in that movement. This is going to allow you to move faster, as well as conserve energy. And that's going to help you overall in your sport. The MRF is originally from CrossFit, it's a way of testing your aerobic fitness and body weight strength endurance. We've slightly modified this session so it's more specific to what we want to get out of it. All you'll need is a way of recording your time and then that will become your benchmark. You're trying to beat your benchmark from previous sessions at each attempt. But this might not always happen, but the reason we're doing this and the reason we set a benchmark so that it keeps you motivated throughout the session so you're continuously trying to push yourself as well as trying to progress as a young athlete over time you'll start with a 1.6 kilometer run then sprawls then depending on your upper body strength will depend which type of press-ups you do air squats and then finally finishing with a 1.6 kilometer run and in this session we're going to be looking at primal movements primal movements is essentially reconnecting with how our body was actually meant to move. By exploring different movement patterns such as crouching, crawling and jumping, we become more competent in the art of functional movement. And this is going to have a direct and positive impact on our chosen sport. You will complete eight exercises in this session, depending on your level or depend on how many sets you do. Depending on your level and conditioning will depend on what levels you will try to reach in your 3k run. It's important to finish the session doing static stretches to target different muscle groups.